in the previous class we have studied the basics to solve a network problem you can see it from the link given in description or you can press the i button at the top and today we are going to do some problems so that you can practice network solving techniques so let's get started So the question is here, in this circuit we want to find values of V1, V2 and E. So you can see here the circuit contains only voltages and this is V1, this is V2 and this is E. So we have to find the values of these voltages. Actually the circuit contains only voltage sources so we can directly apply KVL in this circuit. We have to find three different unknown voltages. So for finding KVLs or applying KVL we have to take loops. So take loops in such a way that each loop contains one unknown voltage source. So before that we can uh, do some modifications in the circuit. That is here at this point you can see a voltage V1 appears. So we can just replace this V1 with a voltage source with its positive polarity attached to this point and the negative polarity grounded. That is, we can remove this V1 and replace that V1 with a voltage source with its positive polarity attached at this point. So this is V1 and the negative polarity will be grounded. So it is equivalent to previous V1. That means positive V1 appears here. Now also positive V1 is the voltage at this point. Okay, clear? Similarly, we can replace this V2 also. V2 means a positive V2 appears here so that we can replace it with a voltage source with its positive polarity at this point. So this is V2 and the negative will be grounded. Similarly, there is one more point that is 10 volt. This 10 volt can be replaced with a voltage source with a plus 10 appearing at this point and the negative polarity will be grounded. Okay. So here uh, we can directly apply KVL and for that we have to take loops. Consider this loop that is starting from this ground and reaching at this ground. Okay, this is consider this as loop 1. So is, is it a closed loop? Yes, because this is starting from the ground and ending at the ground. So we know the ground is common and every ground in the circuit will be connected to a same point. That is common ground. So this point, this point, this point and this point will be same point in the circuit. So we can take a loop like this and that will be closed. And in that loop you can see there is only one unknown voltage that is V1 and all other sources or other voltages are known that is 2 volt and 4 volt. If we are applying KVL in this loop we can start from here. That is first we are seeing a V1 that is minus 2 plus so take it as plus V1 and next we are seeing 2 volt 2 volt is plus to minus so take it as negative negative 2 and here that is minus 2 plus 4 that is minus 2 plus we are taking as positive so plus 4 equal to 0 from that we can directly write V1 is equal to minus 2 volt so we have found the values of the value of V1 okay next take the second loop the second loop is um, i am taking the second loop as like this that is starting from one ground and ending at another ground these two grounds are common and we can take it as same point so this is a closed loop and we can name it as loop two so this is uh, kvl for loop one and for loop two we can consider this loop and take kvl here so here we are first seeing V2, V2 is minus 2 plus, so take it as plus V2 and then 6 volt comes, 6 volt is, is also minus 2 plus, so take it as plus 6 and next comes 8 volt, 8 volt is plus to minus, so take it as minus and next is 10 volt, take it as minus, so this is equal to 0. From this directly we can write V2 is equal to uh, minus 8 minus 10 gives minus 18, minus 18 plus 6 gives uh, minus 12 and we can write V2 is equal to 12 volt Okay, we have found value of V2 and next we have to find value of E So for finding value of E we have to consider another loop and take a loop like this 
in this loop you can see 4 volt e 8 volt and 10 volt just apply kvl here and find the value of e do it yourself and you will get the value of e as minus 22 volt okay that is simple you can directly write the kvl here this is a ground and this is another ground so these two are common points so it is a closed loop this is loop 3 so applying kvl at loop 3 will give the value of e so the next question is very simple and the circuit is given here and there is a voltage VA appearing this appearing across these two points and we have to find the value of VA. So the first step is mark the non currents and voltages in the branches. So we know a 2 ampere is coming like this. So the same 2 ampere will be flowing through this 2 ohm resistor and will be reaching here. So 2 ampere will be reaching here at this junction and you can we can see two paths for 2 ampere that is one path is here one path is here but you can see it is open circuited path so no current can flow through this path so the entire 2 ampere will flow through this path. 2 ampere flowing through 2 ohm resistor there will be a voltage drop across this resistor we know the voltage developed will be V is equal to I into R current into resistance. So we know 2 ampere is flowing through this resistor and the resistance is 2 ohm. So there will be a 4 volt developed across this resistor. And the polarity will be plus minus because the current is flowing from plus to minus terminal. We want to find the voltage across these two points. I am just writing it as A and B. And we have to find the voltage between A and B. So if this is A, this point is also A. If this is B, this is also B. So instead of finding this voltage, we can find the voltage across this branch that will give you the value of VA. So here you can directly see there are, there are two voltages. One is 4 volt across this 2 ohm resistor and a 10 volt across this voltage source. So directly we can write VA is equal to 14 volt. Or else you can apply KVL and consider a loop like this. That is starting from this point and ending at this point. You can consider a loop also. Then also you can find the value of VI. That is VI. We are just assume, assuming the polarity as this. If you are writing KVL, we can write minus 2 plus VI. I am taking it as plus VI. And the next voltage is plus 2 minus 4 volt. So I am taking it as minus 4 volt. And next experiencing a plus minus 10 volt. So again minus 10 is equal to 0. So VI you will get it as 14 volt. Okay, so you can di either directly write the voltage as an addition of these two voltages or if you have confusion, you can go for a KVL. Okay, so this is the next question. It is given that there is a current IX is equal to 2 ampere and the IX is marked here. This current is 2 ampere and we have to find the value of V and I. V is the voltage applied at here and I is the current flowing through this branch. That is the input voltage and input current. That is what we have to find. Okay, so first we have to know, we have to mark the non values of currents and voltages. That is, it is given that Ix is equal to 2 ampere. So 2 ampere will be flowing through this branch. Before applying KVL and KCL, we can uh, find out some branch currents and branch voltages directly so that we can uh, simplify our calculations. That is, we know 2 ampere is flowing through this branch, 2 ampere is flowing through this 4 ohm. We know there will be a voltage drop across this resistor as a result of 2 ampere. So we can directly write 2 ampere in 4 ohm that is 2 into 4 8 volt is the voltage drop across this resistor in this polarity. Okay. So 8 volt is 8 volt is the voltage drop across this 4 ohm resistor. And you can see the 4 ohm and 1 ohm resistors are parallel and the voltage drop across the parallel resistors will be same. So the same 8 volt will be the voltage drop across this resistor also. And you can say one more thing that is 8 volt is appearing across 1 ohm. That is 8 volt is appearing across 1 ohm resistor. So the current through the resistor will be 8 ampere. 8 ampere current will be flowing through this branch. So we can uh, consider this node According to this node, there is a 2 ampere current flowing like this, a 8 ampere current flowing through this. So the leaving currents are 8 ampere and 2 ampere. So a total of 10 ampere is the leaving current through this node. So for 10 ampere to be leaving, there should be an incoming current of 10 ampere. If there is an incoming current of 10 ampere, then only there will be an outgoing current of 10 ampere. That is the KCL. Okay. So 
if there are 10 ampere outgoing or 10 ampere leaving current there will be an incoming 10 ampere so we can write the current through this branch will be 10 ampere so that is this is 10 ampere and we can mark here as the 10 ampere is flowing through this one ohm resistor so there will be a voltage drop across this resistor in this polarity 10 ampere in one ohm gives 10 volt across this resistor in this polarity plus minus polarity okay so we know the voltage drop across this resistor voltage drop across this resistor and we can find out the voltage drop across this 6 ohm resistor also for that we have to consider a loop like this if you are writing KVL let us assume the voltage across 6 ohm will be in this polarity and let us mark it as V1 okay so we can write KVL that is starting from here you are experiencing a minus plus V1 so take it as plus V1 then the next voltage is voltage across this resistor that is plus to minus 10 volt so take it as minus 10 and the next voltage is plus to minus 8 volt so take it as minus 8 so this is equal to 0 so we can write V1 is equal to 18 volt so this V1 is 18 volt that is 18 volt is appearing across a 6 ohm resistor so 18 by 6 3 ampere will be the current flowing through this branch again consider this node according to this node a 10 ampere and 3 ampere currents are leaving currents so a total of 13 ampere current is leaving through this node so there should be a 13 ampere incoming current also so 13 ampere will be the current through this branch we have to find the value of i the i is nothing but the current flowing through this resistor and reaching at this node so the value of i will be 13 ampere so we can write i is equal to 13 ampere for finding value of V, we can write another KVL across this loop in which every voltage values are known because we know 13 ampere is flowing through this resistor so there will be a voltage drop of 13 volt across this resistor so this voltage drop we know this voltage drop we know only the unknown voltage drop is V so we can write the KVL here so V minus plus V this is plus minus 13 so take it as minus 13 and this is plus minus 18 so take it as minus 18 equal to 0 so we can write it as V is equal to 13 volt 31 volt okay so this is the value of 13 ampere is the value of I and 31 volt is the value of V.